This is WCCO 4 News. Kobe was a trailblazer. He was someone that I looked up to my entire childhood, wanting to be like him, wanting to hit the last second shots like him. Tonight, fans came to Target Center to pause and remember NBA star Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven others who died in a helicopter crash yesterday in California. Thanks for watching WCCO, also streaming on CBSN Minnesota. The Wolves game is over, but the tributes remain. Here is a live look at Target Center, where a marquee dedicated to Kobe and Gigi Bryant is shining tonight. Mike Max was there getting reaction from basketball fans, and you join us now. Yeah, and you can imagine, you know, a cloud and uh, just somber, and mm -hmm. everybody kind of, but it's a good thing, too, that everybody was there and able to kind of lean on each other because everybody understood it so well. The game stops once in a while, and yesterday the entire country paused and tried to digest the unthinkable. Kobe Bryant gone. Tonight at Target Center, fans and one former player took note. Thank you so much for being here with us in this time of all of us mourning. Carl Anthony Towns took the mic before the game and expressed what many were thinking. But how do you feel when you don't know how to feel? Mike Winter paid tribute with a classic Minneapolis Lakers jersey with Bryant's name on the back. He's definitely my favorite player growing up, so hard to see him go like that. And the jersey's a tribute. Jersey's definitely a tribute. I've had this one for a long time. It means a little more today. There were tributes from the Timberwolves. Basketball nation in their own way leaning on each other to heal, to understand, to move on. One fan who brought his son was actually a one-time player against Bryant. Troy Hudson played point guard for the Wolves against the Lakers. His son is a Bryant fan. There's two people that's on, on his wall right now, fat heads. It's Kevin Durant Kobe. and it's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant too? Mm -hmm. Is he one of your favorites too? Uh, yeah. That's what tonight was about at Target Center and across the country. Coming together to remember, to embrace the Bryant memories. I'm just a big basketball fan. It was uh, kind of just a big shock. I didn't really know how to react at first. Um, for my generation, I'm 24. There's no one bigger than Kobe. Um, some of the younger guys like LeBron more, but for me, it was always Kobe. No doubt about it, because after Michael Jordan, he kind of bridged the gap mm -hmm. to LeBron James, and that's what you feel.